This truly might be my favorite off-road mid-size pickup. And it's definitely the best priced one if you don't get any options. I borrowed this truck from Jerry Signer Chevrolet here in Salt Lake City. Let's go ahead and check out the window sticker so you guys can see some of the options on this build. At the very top, you guys will be able to see some of the description on this truck. So this is a ZR2 four-wheel drive crew cab. Colors, black on black. And this one does have that TurboMax powertrain. Now be sure to pause it for some of the standard equipment here. Now here is the base price, $46,800. That is without the destination, which I'll show you here in a second. But this one has the ZR2 convenience package. It also has the safety package too. Hard folding tonneau cover, so I'll show that to you guys in a second. Sunroof technology package. However, I don't see that it has the underbody cameras. A few other things, tailgate speaker and cargo area lamp, so I'll show that to you as well. And then here's a few other things on this side. Destination is $15.95 with a total price of $55,180. And here's some of the fuel economy numbers here, 17, 17, and 17 combined. The front end Colorado ZR2 is probably my favorite. I do like the cutouts on the side of the bumper. It gives you a better approach angle. It does have the red recovery hooks down below. And you guys can see that huge skid plate down below. It's gonna be aluminum. Now there's obviously the AEV edition and that's gonna give you some more aggressive underbody protection there. But on this truck, it's feasible for most people. You're gonna have those projector style LED fog lights and LED high and low beam. But they're still using the incandescent bulbs there for your turn signals. Some of the badging on the front end, flow through Chevrolet bolt tie. And I like the painted aspect of the front end too. I'm gonna to compare this with a trail ball, so be sure to subscribe to your channel. Now, independent front suspension, you have those steel uh, control arms, top and bottom, and Multimatic DSSV, dynamic suspension spool valve. You can see those skid plates just a little bit better too right there. Fabric material for the wheel well. And then here's that hood. A little bit more aggressive than what you see on like the Trail Boss 2. Now these are the Goodyear Wrangler Territory MTs. Here's the tire size on these. LT 285-7017. They give you this plastic fender flare. It gives you a little bit more wide body stance. And I like how aggressive the truck looks on the side too. Check out just the design that they give you like right here. Really aggressive, front and rear on the bed too. Painted mirror cap, and you had those cameras. I don't know if you guys saw the one on the front. And then you guys have this protection on the side if you go off road. And let's see if I can show you some of these skid plates down below. So there is a few, like there's one for that transfer case right there. There isn't one for the fuel tank, however. That is going to be a 21 gallon fuel tank. This is where you're going to fill up at. Smart key system for the front doors, painted door handles. And check out your rear suspension. Four leafs in the main pack. You have that Multimatic. Now there is a jount stop too that you can get. It's probably going to come with that. Uh, AEV edition package. Tail lights have a mixture of LED and incandescent bulbs. Rear parking sensors. Now notice you don't have a side step. They do take that off on this one. Receiver hitch, you have a four and seven pin. Backup cameras right there. And I actually like this bed cover too. Normally I don't like hard folding ones because they take up so much space. But because this is a mid-sized pickup truck, it's definitely worth it. 342 rear and full-size spare tire, although you're gonna have a steely for the wheel. Assisted tailgate. And this is my first time actually seeing the bed lights, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn those on so you guys can see them. They give you two on both sides, and then you have your tie-downs inside of here too. Let's go ahead and turn those on. I turned on the cargo lights, but for some weird reason, those lights did not come on. If I figure it out inside the truck, I'll show you guys how to do it, but Rev Industries is the hard cover here. 
it's a trifold, so once there, twice here, and then it just kind of flips up one more time, and it kind of rests right there. But this is a nice one, and it locks in, so it's pretty easy to use. And I definitely recommend if you're going to be buying a truck like this, this is probably a good option to have there. 400 watts in the bed. They do stamp ZRT right there. And storage, and as you guys saw on the window sticker, this does have that kicker sound system right there. Two speakers, you have a USB and auxiliary input. So it's pretty much the same as what they give you on the HD trucks too. Just a different design obviously. And it just locks back up. And let's go ahead and talk about the powertrain. It only comes one way, which is a good thing, so it's pretty easy if you are looking to buy these trucks. The only sad thing about it is it doesn't have a diesel. This 2.7 liter Turbo Max is a turbocharged four-cylinder engine. It's gonna have an eight-speed transmission. This is the high output, basically. There's two other versions of the same displacement engine, just less power. This is gonna have 310 horsepower, 430 pound-feet of torque. As you guys heard earlier, 342 rear end. As far as the structure of this, this does have aluminum heads, but it has a fully forged bottom end, and it has a stiffer crankshaft compared to the outgoing engine. Now, I didn't mention this earlier, but as far as the height difference goes, this does have a three inch lift. So it's an inch taller than the Trail Boss, and it's three inches taller than the regular Colorado too, by the way. Now when you get a ZR2, they give you the graystone interior and they give you this lime green stitching too. All this is gonna be soft touch. I like the silver accent here. It does break up this black plastic. By the way, this whole door card is majority plastic, even up top here. I would like to see soft touch on these higher trim levels from Chevy. Seat memories are right there. You have auto up and down for the driver, but auto down for the passenger front. And these are auto down for the rear too. Now, power seat, you're gonna have a 10-way on the driver's side. Trailer brake, you can dim down this 11-inch screen. There's also 11.3-inch screen there. And let's check out some of the graphics around the interior. It has like a camouflage look. But again, more hard plastic, no heads-up display for the ZR2. And getting in and out, I will say, these rock rails can be a chore for some people because there's no grab handle, right? But it's still pretty easy to get in and out. Black roof for this truck too. You guys can see the sunroof. There is a grab handle for the passenger side too. Incandescent bulbs for the interior. Again, another downgrade in my opinion. And even the GMC has the same setup. Although Ford Ranger gives you LED. But you have vanities on both sides with lights. And push button starts right here. This one has that wireless charger, two USBs right there. You have that rear locker, front and rear right there, auto stop start, caution lights. This is like a lane keep assist, auxiliary, if you want to add some lights, like a light bar. And you can put all the windows down together. Dual climate control, heated and ventilated seats, heated steering wheels right here. And this is one of my favorite infotainment and gauge clusters. So let's kind of go through. If you push this button right here, you guys will see, you can pretty much change the layout of your screen. And this is really nice. You can do navigation inside the screen too. Also, another layout right here. And some off-road. This is kind of like an off-road page, I would say. And then you kind of have this, which you already saw. Now, here's some of your drive modes. So if you twist this, you'll see some of the drive modes for this truck. I actually have to go through this though, by the way. But yeah, you guys will see here. Let's go to the very beginning. So this is normal, off-road, tow haul, terrain, and that's and then you have Baja. So yeah, I was going kind of fast there. So yeah, Baja is the more extreme one there, and that's why you have that multimatic suspension too. Automatic, four high, four low, and then two-wheel drive, electronic parking brake. Here's your shifter. You have your manual mode built in on the side cup holders this is a spot for the key too by the way 
like a little slot. And then in here, have some deep storage with a 12 volt and then this removable tray. And this is all finished in that gray stone too with that lime stitching. So really nice interior. The seats have a nice design. I would like to see a little bit more bolstering on the sides of the seats, especially for the people who do want to go off road. And then on the side here, you guys can see more of that gray stone, silver accent. So this is a really nice interior. I definitely think that they've done a great job. And here's where the Colorado's beating the HD segment and the half ton segment. They have this. This is called, I don't know if you guys saw, it's called vehicle status. I'm gonna flip all the way over to the engine. So you guys have battery voltage. They also give you a coolant temperature with an actual temperature. Also transmission fluid temperature right there. Oil pressure, which is nice. Oil temperature. They don't give you all these temperatures for the HDs and those are trucks that people would really need that on. So I like that they give these to you because if you go off road, that's important. Trip information can be reset in this screen here. You cannot do it over here. So a lot of people will find this infotainment a little cumbersome at the beginning, but once you learn it, I think you'll love it. Navigation's right here. Now this truck does not have the underbody cameras. I thought that came with the technology package, but I do not see that they have those cameras, unfortunately. So you do have 360 camera view. You have this view too. This is a perfect camera view for going off road. You can see what the tires are, front and rear. Also, you can turn off the 360 if you don't need that on. If you go over to this screen here, you can zoom in if you are playing on towing a trailer. And you have these uh, lines for basically this. So if you want to turn on, actually, you have to be in reverse for it to work. So yeah, if you want your backup lines on, or if you want to hook up to a trailer, you can have that, or you can just turn it off completely. Manual passenger seats. Perforated leather. You guys can see some of the design accents in there too. Now here's the dash. More of that camouflage. Out back. They don't give you that silver accent that they give you on the front. And that's pretty typical in these mid-sized trucks. They always kind of cheapen it down in the rear. See back pockets on both sides. Cup holders air vents, two USBs, and you have a 120 volt power plug down below. 6040 bench. I noticed that the Ford Ranger does not give you a 6040 bench even on the Lariat trim level. You can drop down these headrests for more visibility. You have a sliding glass and then here's the roof. They give you some grab handles to get in and out. Not on the sides. Let's take a look at the payload. Axle rating up front is 3,500 pounds, the rear is 3,400 pounds, 6,250 pound gross fuel weight rating, 17 by 8 wide wheels, all in payloads 1,174 pounds. And this truck is pretty loaded, so you guys saw the tonneau cover, you know, you have a little bit more meteor tire, rock rail, sunroof, leather seats, all this stuff's going to take away from the payload, but I would say that's a decent payload for the amount of trailer you're going to be towing with the truck anyways it's like around five to six thousand pounds and i would say that's a lot for something like this shorter wheelbase trucks don't really tow that well but i hope you guys like the video this is definitely a very hardcore mid-size pickup truck and unfortunately it is sold but if you would like to get an incoming one be sure to reach out to jerry signer chevrolet here in salt lake city see you guys soon